Graham, the Rangers home kit for the 2022-23 season was inspired by a jersey you famously wore in the late 80s after you joined the club as player manager. What were your thoughts when you saw the new Castor version? Obviously brought memories back. Um, I think it's quite unique, the, you know, the squares on it. You know, some fabulous players wore that shirt. And um, I just hope we can repeat that success because it, they were special times for me and for this football club. Does it fill you with a real sense of pride knowing that your spell at the club is still celebrated and remembered so fondly, so much so that the, the club's new kit is a nod back to that era? If you play for this football club, it's one of those clubs, and I, I think I played for two of them. I played for two clubs that once you've played for them, it's, it gets into your skin and in, in a unique way. I'm often asked that question, why is, why is that? I think it's because the passion and support are shown for the football club. You know, to wear that strip, it's quite unique. And I, I brought a lot of English players up here who, who didn't get it. But within a month, they certainly got it. And, and some of them stayed on and still live in Scotland. Um, but when I've met them since then, playing for this football club, it's, a, it's, a, it's with you for life. you become a Rangers man for life. Is there one particular game, one particular moment that stands out for you wearing that iconic checker jersey? Um, I remember we, we, we beat Celtic well here, 5-1. And the crowd were, I think, a wee bit upset with us that they felt we sort of went into a relaxed mode when we scored our fifth and they were wanting us to score more, but they would take five every time we play that game, I'm sure. Um, I also think of the, the Kiev game when we got, and I have to say, in all the big stadiums I've played in and all the wonderful nights of European football at Liverpool, and there was a lot of them, the atmosphere that night against Dynamo Kiev that night was um, the greatest atmosphere I've ever played in. We managed to win 2-0 that night and go through having lost the first game 1-0, I think I'm right in saying. Um, and that was the greatest football atmosphere I had ever played in. And uh, of course, the, the release of a new kit, it's, it's always important to the supporters, of course. And was it something as a player when, and when you were a manager, is it something you look forward to as well? Did it represent new challenges in a new season coming up? You know, I had a bit of a say in what, what, the, what the strip was like. That strip was quite unique. With it. it was certainly unique in its day with the checks. What was very important was the colour blue that was on it. it had to be the right blue and then you just had to tick the boxes of the history of this football club and I think we did with that it was a I believe it was a great selling shirt and and the boys who wore it I never got any complaints but they're not going to say that to me are they? and when you walk through the, the the door there to this home dressing room does it fill you with a, a lot of emotions is it quite a, an emotional moment well, for you you know what was the first thing I did when I you know, when I stood there and right away, that wasn't there, but I stood there right away and um, I had a, a me an instant memory and the longer I'm sitting here, more would come back. You know, it was, it was, a, it was a, a place of great emotions and I'm sure it still is with the present group and the current manager. Yeah, I've walked great memories being in here. I can remember David Holmes falling off his seat when I told him what I wanted to do in there in terms of increase the power on the, the showers changed the shower heads and um, I think I remember it was the quote for doing it was 30k which was a fortune 40 years ago whatever it was um, but we got David eventually relented and, and gave the players what, what I wanted really um, I was just about up in the game you know this is a special football club and we should have the best of everything it was just a case of up in the game throughout the stadium. Um, yeah, great memories. I'm, I, 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 come, if I, I could sit here on my own. I mean this, I could sit here on my own for hours and, and just enjoy the moment. And how important was that for you to, to see the, the changes that have been made around this, this dressing room, to see the modernisations, to, to well, see that Rangers is constantly evolving? But I think Rangers have always, you know, you look around this old panelling, we've always did things to a certain standard, you know, when I was here, it was sort of kicking on with the, the corporate hospitality. We did it better than anyone else in those days. You know, Rangers have standards that very few people manage to match. And that's what's so unique about this club. We've had our difficulties, the standards have been maintained, and that's what makes us a class act.